We do mobile service for, you know, companies, Herc Reynolds, small companies, Ellis Cattle, and, and we go out on site, clean up sites, yards in their yards. With the trailer, we can service, you know, up to 11 trucks. When I first started, you know, 22 years ago, it was gallon jugs, and uh, I thought I went up big time when I bought a Home Depot trailer and put a waste oil tank and a, and a regular fresh oil tank in there with pumps and reels. And then now this has been, yeah, night and day difference. You're never gonna get everything out of a five gallon bucket. You're never gonna get everything out of a gallon jug. So what would normally take 11 gallons, you're gonna do 11 and a half gallons because there's still half a gallon in, in those 11 jugs. Where this, the oil's there. You don't dump it back out. You don't throw a bucket away. You don't, you know, use it as a waste oil bucket and it's no good or, or forget, man, what did I have in this bucket, you know? Like I said, it more than pays for itself. Six years ago, I started looking at different lube trailers and I researched different trailers. During that process, I ran into Thunder Creek and saw the fuel trailers. To be able to take this whole rope, pull this hose reel out, set it for 11 gallons, pop it in the truck, pull the trigger and get underneath and start greasing, you know? You're one guy, you've already, you know, saved yourself five minutes just per gallon. So multiply that times 11, there's almost an hour that you got literally just pouring cold oil. The fact you're able to also grease the truck at the same time. Five gallon hand pump, you know, you're underneath there and you, you can't hand pump it underneath, so you're out from outside. So you gotta reach the hose in there and hook it in and crawl back outside and hand pump it. And, and there's no meter on the hand pump. So, you know, you're looking at the bucket, ah, oh, it's two and a half gallons, you know. But at least at the meter you look and oh, I, I pumped in three gallons. And you did it all without leaving the one spot. You crawl underneath there, pump, 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 three gallons and put the plug back in it, tighten it down, crawl out, you're done. The fact that you can self-contain it and keep the mess to a minimum. It makes a huge difference as far as going over, you know, un unlevel ground. And uh, we'll go out to construction sites where, you know, you're like this, you know, and it's, it's, uh, we've even had uh, construction guys go, you're not going to get out there with that trailer. And, yeah, we'll get out there, you know. Versatility of this trailer is just amazing as far as, like I said, the way it follows and, and just the strength of it. The fact that we've, you know, what we put it through is, is uh, I mean, a testimony to itself. As you can see, you know, I can reach 50 feet one way or the other, so you don't have to move the trailer as much, which counts into labor, into time. You know, to roll everything back up, you know, get in the truck, and maneuver the trailer and put it back over and then, you know, do two more trucks just doesn't work. I mean, we got 50 feet, you could do, you know, six trucks and then move it rather than do two trucks, move the trailer, two trucks, move the trailer, two trucks. When you're doing 11 trucks, you move five times compared to moving once. What we do is not easy, but this makes it easier. As long as you got good equipment, you're gonna keep the good people. To keep a good mechanic, you gotta have good tools, good equipment, a good environment, because otherwise that shop down the street's gonna have better stuff than you and it's gonna be paying the same and he's gotta do less work.